Welcome to Clocks with Seth. Today we'll be looking at an English clock from the 1700s. This is an English long case clock. It was built around 1780. The maker is Joseph Stancliffe. Uh, the name is partially worn off on the dial, but you can make it out. He was son of clockmaker John Stancliffe, and the family produced clocks in England during the 1700s. The case is hand carved. It's beautiful. It's oak with an ebony finish. The height of the clock is seven foot five. The dial is brass and has quite a bit of wear. Some people have these restored, but I kind of like how it is. The brass hands are pristine. It has a very small moon phase function and calendar function just below it that you can see here. It's powered by a two-way movement that runs about 30 hours. You can tell the movement is old because there are tapered pins holding it together. It strikes a cast iron bell on the top of the hour. The pendulum bob and weights are simple and remain hidden as there is no glass in the door. This clock needs a little bit of work, but it will be a fun project for the winter time. A little bit of history, grandfather clocks were originally called long case or tall case clocks. I referred to this earlier in the video as a long case clock. Well, this all changed in the late 1800s due to a song that came out called Grandfather's Clock. The song was about a clock that ran the lifespan of a man, and when he died, the clock quit running. And the clock was a tall clock, a tall case or a long case clock. And so uh, the song was so popular, especially in America, that the name just stuck. And so people started calling these grandfather clocks. For being over 200 years old, this clock is in pretty decent shape. I mean, if you think about it, it's almost as old as our country, and that's just super cool. If you like this video, uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have more amazing clocks on here to show you, and I just want to thank you today for watching.